She yelled so loud. She's like, girl, get in there. You better get in there and go to bed. And I just like Herbert and Rad. Hi guys, welcome to my channel, Dear Life 101. And if this is your first time, well then welcome. So I'm super excited for today because it is a story time, which means I hit 45 subscribers. Oh yeah. Thank you. Speech, speech. No, okay. Before we get into the story time, I very quickly want to say if I do or say anything that you like during this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. It lets YouTube know that I'm doing my job and entertaining you. Also, uh, let's go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Like, come on guys, come on. So this story is about the time that I got in trouble and was forced to take a nap because I was just trying to make some money. I was about maybe like seven, eight years old and I got into a lot of trouble around that time I'm starting to realize around those areas I was just a bad kid and I was never a bad kid but I just needed something more than what child life was offering me so I've always been about money like I and I was with my cousins we're just gonna call them Amber and Sarah you know we're pretty close in age so we always used to hang out and I was the middle one so let's say Amber was um was older than me and Sarah was the younger one so she was younger than I was and um, about probably like a year no more than two years difference from each other we we're sitting at my aunt's house and we were like we want like something from the ice cream man but we don't have any money we were broke so you know we went outside and we were playing with whatever we were playing with and we came across this can this can of gold spray and it was like oh and like it's like we all looked at each other and we knew exactly what we were going to do with this can of gold spray. So we started painting um, like rocks with the gold spray and we started selling them. We started calling them gold nuggets. We were like, come and get your gold nuggets. Like we found gold nuggets. Um, no one bought the gold nuggets and I, I guess now I understand why. But as a kid we were like, why? Why are people jumping on these gold nuggets? <laughs> But uh, so our our first like entrepreneurship was like crushed by just not selling. We had a new idea. So our neighbor had these really beautiful rose bushes, and we looked at those rose bushes. And again, how all of us at the same time just knew what we had to do in order to make this money. I don't know, but we were like, go 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 go. We like tear up all her little rose bushes. All oh, we're horrible. We got all the roses and uh, we started like mushing it. We might have like maybe mixed a few other like little like flowers that we could find. But then we started going door to door trying to sell potpourri. And I'm just like, how did eight year old Rachel know what the hell potpourri was? I've always been bad and bougie. Just kidding. <laughs> so we went door to door selling potpourri. And um, I remember our pricing because one couple actually did pay for it. And we said, uh, we were like, one hand, one dollar. Two handfuls, two dollars. <laughs> and it was so cute. He was so nice. Um, and he's like, well, my hand or your hand? Because I have big hands. So we looked at each other. We were like, hold on, please, we're all. You can go ahead. It's, it's your hands. You know, because we, we were taught early to always keep the customer happy so that they will come back. Uh, so he like he took his handful of potpourri and he gave us a, a dollar. So we went back home and we were going to wait for the ice cream man to come by. What I didn't tell you, when we were in the transitional period between our first idea and our second idea, we got extremely bored and we just started spray painting. We started spray painting things for no reason. To this day, and I've gone back recently, I've like, passed that neighborhood. If you pass the mailbox, it's like a community mailbox, there's a huge gold six on the side. Yo, I'm a Sue and Drake. I've always been about the six. Yeah, but there's a huge six on the side of the mailbox. And uh, we got into so much trouble. So I remember us like walking up to the house and it was just yelling, like almost out here. We're like, where have you kids been? You know, we're like, oh, they're all this gold spray, whatever. So get your butts in this house now. And then, what's crazy is she didn't whip us. But she should have. She did make a deal with us, however. I forgot what exactly the deal was, but we were like scared to death that she was gonna tell our parents and we were gonna get in so much trouble. Um, I forgot what the deal was, you know, if you do this, then I will not tell your parents. And we were like, done, done. And I remember that specifically because we 
like a few Thanksgivings ago, actually the three of us were laughing hysterically telling our parents this story. But what did end up happening is we did have to take a nap, right? And so it just really sucked. And I remember like the way that we were laying, we were laying on the couches in the living room and we were up staring at each other. And my, well, Sarah had already gone to sleep. She was young, she cried and went to sleep. And But me and, what I call her? So me and Amber though, you know, we were staring at each other like, no, ice cream like the ice cream might be out there like the ice cream might already be there like let's go you know and um i remember her convincing me and i don't know how she convinced me to do the stupidest things but she was like go in there and pretend like you woke up <sighs> okay and it's funny because i remember my aunt was doing someone's hair in the in her in the next room so i stood up and i walked in and i went <sighs> And she, what is, a horrible actress now, I'm all, uh, and she yelled so loud, she's like, girl, get in there, you better get in there and go to bed. And I just like, Herbert ran, and my cousin was just dying. She like turned her face in the pillow and just laughing, I was like, shut up. Um, but honestly, that's it. And you guys, like, that's the truth. Like, I've always been about my money. Alright guys, that was it for this story. I hope that you enjoyed and I'm just going to say thank you one more time to the 45 subscribers and when I get to 60, I will do another story time so let's remember to like this video and more importantly, subscribe. Bye guys, see you next time.